Oh no. So here we got clay brushing in the kiln dried sand, filling up all the uh, cracks and little hollows and that so that we can get uh, the wacker plate on it and really finish that off. So he's just brushing it back and forth, a bit like when you're tiling really, back and forth to get it in all the little holes and that. Now let's have a look what everybody else is doing today. So we've got Liam is cutting. So we've got Vinny laying the bricks on the inside and Joe is laying the bricks on the outside and getting some good experience. And the lads over there just knocking out another mix. Okay. And uh, down here, Kane is marking out the cuts ready uh, to pass over to Liam so he can cut them. Okay, so there's all sorts of things going on today and uh, I think what we're going to do is put one more course on the top of that and then a brick on edge to finish it. So everybody's all busy today. To butter the ends, there's a couple of ways you can butter the bricks. You can either get a, a little bit of mortar like that and put it on the whole thing, okay, and sort of fan it out a little bit like that. That's one way of doing it. But of course, you want to make sure that the edges are nice and full, okay, like that. So you've got to make sure that the edges are full and you don't want to. You don't want any mortar on top. So I'm just going to put the two like that so it's going to kind of sit in. And we're also going to set up a dial to make sure that we are keeping in line with the dial. Okay. And the next thing, of course, is I want to make sure that it's vertical. Okay, so we've got to come back a little bit that way, pull that one over to make sure that we're nice and plumb. And obviously, you want to be level that way or at least have a slight runoff. Okay. Now the other way of buttering the brick, I'll just put a little bit more in there, like that, just to give us a bit more room. Okay, just, uh, and we'll just run the trowel along there. You can keep the gap correct if you just run the trowel, otherwise it pushes away. So the other way of doing this is to get some water, get a good batch of water on your trowel, and then what we do is just a little bit there, run it down the side, run it there, and run it down the back, okay? And a little do that again, a little bit more there, a little bit more there, and then you've got your joint all nice and ready there, and then you can put it next. Okay, and we just need to get the, get the gauge. Now, the way these bricks work is, you're working roughly, slightly different on a curve but we're roughly about three to a brick when you're doing brick on edge okay that's your check so i'm just going to get my trammel and we'll have a look at the trammel and we'll see how that goes so you're aiming for with your trammel to be in line with the trammel okay so that one could spin around a bit could actually flaunch it a little bit to say that you know because it is going around in a circle that one there again could just have it slightly feather it a little bit just so it's in line. So I need to feather them a little bit to make this work really well, okay? So a little bit of feathering, just going to alter that a little bit. And then, so what I'll do, you're coming around every time, you really want a slightly feathered joint, yeah? So what I'm going to do this time, when I put it again, I'm going to get a little more on. And I want this one to be a bit thicker, so I've got a bit heavier on that side. Drag your trowel round, drag your trowel there and across there, okay? So I've kind of got something on, but what I need to do now is just make this a little bit, a little bit more on here. So I'm going to just drag a bit more and a bit more like that. So it's going to be, when I put it up against there now, you can see I've got a bit more mortar on there. And what you mustn't do, you mustn't use your trowel to knock down. Because if you do that, you're going to get all snot, what we call mortar on the top. So what you do, you have a little hammer with you. And if you need to do a little bit of tapping down, just use your hammer and then you don't get all the... Because if I use this and I start tapping, you get all this all over the bricks and then you've got to use brick acid 
and that's going to take you ages and you really don't want to be doing that okay so it's quite tricky once you've got two ways of buttering the sides of but the best the best way with these with the holes in is by far get a load of mortar on there dab it like that drag it round drag and drag okay like that and obviously like i said before we're going to feather it a little bit so you do need a little bit more round there like that okay so you can have a go at that it's it's, it's quite a good skill to um have a go at it's quite you know just getting used to but you've got to try and keep it off the off the bricks okay that's the obviously that'll go in there i've got to put a little bit of a bed joint in there so we'll just put that bed joint and then pop that there like that and then run your trowel along there to stop it pushing out like you did with english barn and just slip that in there bring that round have a look at it check your vertical you know is that staying vertical is it tendency is to domino go over a little bit so you've got to be a little bit careful with that there we are and then what we'll do obviously go check across the top check that way and make sure it's in line vertically you can see that these actually are just go sorry right. <laughs> got the cameraman um, so these are just want it's just once going in a little bit yeah you can see that it's got it's got to be pretty good on that side there we go we're wrapping up for the day this is the third session at the Heena Miners Welfare and we're just having a tidy up just putting some of the old bricks in the bottom to act as drainage and uh, we're pretty much there just got to get the brick on edge on the top of the block pavings uh, looking okay and uh, just having a bit of a tidy up and uh, we'll get some planting in and uh, hopefully begin to uh, begin to take shape <laughs>